Hi everyone, my name is Mr. Malam. I'm going to be going through another question on CS now. The question I'm going to be doing is question number 8. And that question is going to be state 5 aspects that should be included in an induction program. Now this question does come up quite a bit there. You need to know what happens in an induction program. And a nice little trick I'd like you to, to keep in mind is I'd like to think back to those days when you first started in school, especially like grade 8 and that sort of thing when you first got into high school, that was an induction program. You most likely went through an induction program to get to know what's happening in your school. So I'm going to throw up a table. And just remember, state is generally a very, um, could be a little bit more than just list. Um, but generally, it is one mark, one mark, one questions. So just watch that mark allocation when you're looking at the question. But here we go. So obviously, when you get now I'm going to use the analogy or the example of school. When you get to school, they're all like, this is Mrs. So, this is Mr. So, so. The same thing happens in a company. You get introduced to the people in the company and your colleagues. And also when you get into, when you go to, uh, when you inducted into a workplace, they want to tell you what are the rules, what are the safety regulations, what must you do in case there's a fire, what must you do in case there is a drill of some kind, um, they want you to know what is that's for your safety and theirs as well. Also, rules like how to use, like what are the rules around photocopying and things like that are very big things. And then next up, you'll have what is the overview of the business? Where is everyone like at? What's the company do? Um, which departments do what? So that you can feel that you have sort of an understanding of what's happening in that company. You also get shown around, and I'm throwing you back to grade 8. Um, hopefully you were shown around the school. This is where the different classes are. Same thing happens in a company. They want you to know where you go eat. They want you to know where you're working, which areas you're allowed in, which you're not allowed in, um, where to go in case you know the safety regulations kick in, where do you go in case there's a fire, where's the fire exit, um, where's the photocopy machine, where are the toilets. I mean, a tour really helps because it gets you to know the place much quicker. And also, if they're really nice, they let you know this is where your manager sits, this is where human resources are if you need to go have maybe have a grievance or a complaint of some kind. And then obviously they sit you down in a nice little boardroom and they will discuss your contract and what they expect from you. Now, the reason they do most of this is so that later on they can say, we have went through it with you and if you break any of these rules, then you were warned and you were shown. Um, so again, this is also part of induction is to make you feel nice and that's safe and at home, but also to cover the company to make sure that you, if you break the rules, you did know about it. Right, let's link something out. So as you can see, I'll introduce, we have two people having a nice little chat, talking, getting familiar, knowing people's names, knowing who you need to talk to. Safety regulations are very important. Where are the fire hydrants? Where's the first aid box? Um, if things happen, this is what to do. What is the overview? So that you feel like you can be a part of the company, understand your purpose, your role, your where you are at in that company. And then of course, nice little plane flying around world, you're going to take a tour, you're going to go around, see where everything is, get told where everything is. Things like where the stationery is at. And of course, what is your contract contained? What is in like what is expected from you? So it's very clear. The main aim behind an induction is to get you moving and get you productive as soon as possible. Great, let's take away some of these facts. Keywords that we have, introduce, the safety regulations, what is the overview? Take a nice little tour and discuss the service contract. Now, once again, gonna take these all away. I'd like you to try and do that all by your lonesome. And when you're ready, go back to the earlier part of the video. Make sure you got it all right. And remember, try and try and remember these pictures. Try and remember what's going on. Really good thing. Link it back to your grade eight days. What were you doing? Very similar grade eight induction, company induction. Good luck.